Oklahoma. I have a friend currently going to Oklahoma. Hey, Tilly. hey Katie. Katie Pegg, my sister's here. Uh, oh, look who else is here, little Eva. Everybody's in town. Evil Noble's artist here as well, who was in uh, Luck With Me. Major Broadway star. Hello, India. Whoa. Don't go anywhere. You're supposed to stay here for the whole thing. Um, Northumberland, Northern Iron, Seattle, Vegas. We went to Vegas. Katie, my sister saw Eva in Miss Saigon. You guys should have a sub chat. She said you were amazing. Norfolk, East Yorkshire. Where am I? I'm in Tilly's bedroom. Enfield, you're just down the road. Taiwan, that's a fair uh, distance away. Somerset, Detroit. We're getting some check-ins, Tilly, from uh, places around the world. Ireland, Espanol, Greece, Yasu, Texas, hi there. <laughs> no. Russia, I see, has joined us. Vancouver, Russia, Russia. Michigan. We list a lot of places. The Brazilian flag pops up. Cookies left off. Tilly, she's gone into your office. Study. Barnet, that's pretty close to me. Well, Somerset. I don't believe. Is she cookie going? Is she going back downstairs? Yeah. Get one of the others. I can't carry well upstairs. No, you can't. Aberdeen, Hampshire, South End. I'm just gonna do all of the all the places in the accent that's appropriate. Salisbury. California. Folks don't know how to do that. Oh. Yeah, I um, Chile, Corby, where the trouser press was invented, Belarus. Liz is here. Liz, Liz Cater. Yes. Minsk. North Carolina. Pittsburgh. Tilly, do your impression of Maggie from The Walking Dead. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. This is Tilly's impression of Maggie from The Walking Dead. His name is Glenn, Daddy. His name is Glenn. We just started watching. Tilly's just started watching The Walking Dead. We're well, not just. Not just. We're on season four, We're on season four right season now. Seven. We started watching it a few weeks ago because Tilly's never seen it. Germany, Chile, more stuff. Norway, hey hey. Carmen's here. Carmen, your old buddy Carmen's here. I'm good, thanks, Just. Thanks for asking. Uh. Is that a fresh cut? What, like wound? Or is it a haircut? Mean a haircut? Oh, no. Well, actually, yes, it is, because I got my hair cut for work, because I'm shooting tomorrow. Well spotted. Svenska. Hi, Poland. Dziękuję. Someone's making fish pie tonight. That's good. Hola, Spain. Greetings from Winchester or the Winchester? Arizona. Lovely Arizona. Who are you shooting? I see. In a w <laughs> Hertfordshire. I'm in Hertfordshire. I'm in Hertfordshire, Danish. I do age, but I've discovered a fantastic new cream that was target marketed to me on Instagram. <laughs> hey, Cyprus. Ghoul. I didn't know that was a little place. Simon, you need to go to Negan for Halloween. You know about Negan. I've told you about Negan, not everything, but yeah. he's coming. Gloucester there, Trix Villa. This is my old town. The Soith Wales Valleys. <laughs> Did you see Edgar has his own Sky Movies channel at the moment? So? It's not a big deal. <laughs> they, there was a Cornetto ch uh, channel on Sky, but obviously they wanted to branch out for more, to more films because there's only three of those. Neverland? What? From where? Hi, Mum. Is Mum watching? Yeah. Oh, she always drops in and has a little spy on us, doesn't she? <laughs> Ow! Stop kicking me! Just kidding! Just my ah! 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 <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love Iran too. Hey, Wolverhampton. Norwich. Stop! <laughs> 
Now, listen, Tilly's come all the way here from her uh, bed, and uh, she'd like to be... Now she's doing an impression of fi number five from, uh, from um, Umbrella Academy. Don't say my because that's not... I won't. They can't play any... <coughs> Simon, oh, can you please watched, watched, do Bab, Bob, Bab the Cat? Bob the Cat. Talk about the movie we watched last night. We watched an incredible movie last night, guys, called Mother. Uh, from Japan. Uh, it was really sad. It was an incredibly sad film, based on a true story, and beautifully acted. Uh, uh, I, I showed a side to Japan, ja to Japan, to Japan <laughs> that I've not seen before, um, and I thoroughly recommend it. Do your impression of number five from Umbrella Academy? <laughs> no, I can't. I need to. I need to get in the zone because I've already shown one impression today. You know, don't want to get out of hand. You are good on impressions. We're gonna. Sh I'm gonna demonstrate now our brand new shake. Okay, here we go. No, don't. I'm not gonna show you. Don't but I'm show gonna my show room. I'm no, it's gone all shitty balls. Okay, here's, this is fine. Okay, ready? Okay, Get your so hand good. in. Okay. There, there. <laughs> there, 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 there. <laughs> it's really good. But what about the other one? No, people can't see that. Move right. back. You can move back. Let me move the chair. No. Okay, there we go. This is our shake. <laughs> I've cut it. No, wait. We got it from Nope. Oh, Amanda's joint. Are you coming over for pizza tonight, Amanda? No, oh, my wrist! Will the sun come out tomorrow? I don't know. If I don't know. Probably not. No, What do your tattoo symbols on your inner arm mean? They mean business. <laughs> <laughs> um, did I like Nope? I thought, I really enjoyed Nope. Yeah, I, I thought, it, nope. I, I thought the, I, I, I had some, great. See you then, Amanda. Uh, I really feel like Stephen Yen's character should have been involved in the third act of the film because the, um, the no spoilers, um, but um, his story, wasn't his story felt like Open. It, 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 the lessons learned from the story of the chimp should have come into force in the third act. It was very odd that they didn't. I'm not going to explain to you why they don't, but anyway. But it was enjoyable and really new, and and and, and I, I love Daniel Kaluuya, and the cast were great. And so there we go. Dad, did you know that? No, nope, nope, it wasn't shit, Amanda. It was uh, good, but flawed. Dad, you know in Nope, yeah. which I loved, by the way, um, when he's doing his little. Amanda said it was shit. I loved it when um, he was. When you know Stephen Young's character was doing the whole thing with the the thing, and he was in the yeah, thing. Yeah. He was like, is that, I, is that, I, I. <laughs> "What's going on?" In one hour, your life is going to change. You know, it was actually one hour till the end of the movie. Really? Yeah. Oh, that's clever. Yeah. That is it? clever. Without giving anything away, he was a character focused on greed and well, what happened happened. No, no. Basic film structure suggests it's Chekhov's gun. If you set up a something in Act 1, like if there's a gun appears in Act 1, then it gets fired in Act 3. That gun was never fired in Act 3, and as such, his arc felt underwritten. Someone said you look like Brad Pitt. I, no, not really, no. <laughs> Have I watched The Northman? Yes, I thought that was great. I just wrote a whole paragraph in French about Brad Pitt. <laughs> Did you? Yeah. Tilly's a massive fan of Brad Pitt, because she enjoyed, she loves the film Seven, don't you, Tilly? Have you ordered your pizza already, Amanda? When is Mission Impossible out? What's happening with Star Trek? Hey, they're new questions. I've never been asked in my life. <laughs> Wait, okay, we've got to spice it up a little bit. It's a bit boring right now, Dad. Yeah, what's happening here? Um, I love you too, Sahil. Ask me questions. Ask Tilly questions. I've got one which is what's my favourite song. And um, at the moment, it's probably... Um, probably... Well, I have three... Obviously, where is my mind? Yeah. By Pixies. She loves Pixies. Then, um, probably, uh, probably, Debaser by Pixies. She's just ba bang into Pixies at the moment. <laughs> probably, Wave of Mutilation. 
I pick these. And also, I really like great classic trees. By Radiohead. Yeah. Ringo, my favourite Beatles song is Tomorrow Never Knows. And I think Ringo's drumming on that uh, particular song <gasps> is extraordinary and, I, I, and utterly puts pay to that t tiresome myth that Ringo somehow was not a great drummer because he was. I just, I started taking drum lessons. Oh, Tilly started taking drum lessons as well. I'm mean, cool now. Will I be in Top Gun 3 with Tom Lowell? Do you like The Who? Of course I do. Either of you play Dungeons and Dragons? So, do you play Dungeons and Dragons? I don't. Play Neither do I. I did play it when I was a student a couple of times. I, I played an elf. I'm playing bass. Good on you there, Gravel, Gravel Eye, Gravel Lead. Okay, let's go. Okay, so Brad Pitt, because of Seven, but what about Fight Club? Speaking of the Pixies, well, yeah, Tilly does like, you like Fight Club. Obviously, I love Fight Clubs. Fight Clubs. The Fight Club. I have a poster of it here. You do? There's a poster of Fight Club on Tilly's wall, actually. Actually, there's two. Two. In fact, I think that's where you first heard Where Is My Mind, isn't it? Uh, I heard it before, but not fully. I love this poster. I've got one It is a good poster. I've got one. Tilly, do you play video games? Yeah. Yeah, I do. What do you play? I play Genshin, and I play Minecraft. <laughs> Genshin not, and not Minecraft. A, Minecraft. Not, Minecraft. Not a big variety, but it's enough. I uh, I tell you what, I've I've recently uh, talking about Marvel. I just I just saw someone ask me what my favorite Marvel film was. I had, I've I've been watching She Hulk, and it's very funny. I love a, I love a little bit of, uh, of, of of silly comedy, and and it's doing it rather well. The girl that played in the most recent episode, there was a girl called what she called M Madison. She was brilliant, hilariously funny. That, I think the Lambrettas. Well, that's a. I, I, I mean, I guess I remember them from when I was a kid. Dad. Yeah. Can we talk about The Walking Dead for a bit? Yeah, let, we're going to talk about The Walking Dead now. Because this is my hyperfixation. Tilly's just on season four and she's enjoying it. Guys, who's everyone's favourite character? Just so I can review everyone. What's everyone's favourite character from the series The Walking Dead? Dad, what's yours? I enjoy Daryl Dixon. Me too. Played by the lovely Norman Reedus. <laughs> okay. Which one are we doing? This one. <laughs> okay. Some major movies are so perfect they don't need sequels. Glenn! I say this all Good the choice. fucking time. I love Glenn. Have you seen the Black Panther trailer? No. Rick. Rick. A lot of Ricks coming in for the lovely Rick. Andrew Lincoln. We've got Glenn. Andrew Lincoln, whose real voice is very soft and smooth and Glenn. British. Glenn. Everyone loves Glenn. A lot of Glenn. Please, guys, no spoilers past yeah, season no spoilers. four of The Walking Dead because Tilly's looking at the... Uh, Glenn. Someone likes Negan. T Tilly's looking at the um, the feed on her phone, so if anything comes up, uh, don't spoil it for her, please. Yeah, I beg. Um, Someone said they really like Negan. Negan, Negan, Negan is was an, is an interesting character. Yeah, absolutely love Glenn. Jeffrey uh, <coughs> Dean Morgan is a great Carmen, actor. Carmen says Glenn. Somebody said they all die. <laughs> what, an, what an hilarious response to my entreaty. A lot of Negan's coming in. Stop ruining the show. Dale, it, we've seen Dale go. You know, we've seen we've seen what happens to Maggie. Dale. Maggie. Maggie, love Maggie. Maggie is an underrated character, and I love her. Glenn. Glenn, there are zombies. What? Wait, really? I have watched a few episodes of Fear the Walking Dead. Checked out about season two. Tilly's not seen any yet because she's only just started watching uh, um, the first. Shane. You like Shane? The hell? Tara is queen for sure. Hold on, Shane. Huh. Tilly, do you like Mitski? I love Mitski. I have a poster of her. What's your favourite Mitski song? Um, probably Francis Forever. But hold on, hold on. Shane. Hold on. Of everyone you could have chosen, you chose Shane. You chose Shane. You chose a murderer. You chose a, a murderer. Well, he, a, lo a lot he, of people are choosing killed. Negan, and Negan is a a cold-blooded murderer. Okay, but Shane? He killed 
that's the boys only question. Why the Did I ever read the boys comics prior to the show? I'm in the boys comics for God's sake. I'm Huey in the boys. I wrote the forward for the trade paperback. Of course I've seen the fucking comics. <laughs> People just don't know that fact. If you look at the boys comic, look at Huey, it's me. Hold on. That's why I play Huey's dad in the series, is because I am the I'm the original, I'm the OG Huey. You chose Shane? Tilly's getting really... Of all people, you chose Shane. Well... Look at what he did to Laurie, you horrible person! I love Laurie! <laughs> anyway. Tilly's a little bit up... Work, work, up... Uh, uh, work, no, up worked. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just angry. Why did you choose Shane? Shane killed Otis. I know, it was... Her, 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 and I completely stand by his decision. It was a brutal... Yeah, I don't. But a bit, Rick wouldn't have done that. I mean, you know, and Rick wouldn't have died either, so F, F off. Yeah. You guys up to date with Stranger Things? Yep. No, because the thing is, when Shane killed Otis, right, Shane stopped. They had a little chat where they could be running away, and he went... And Shane then, just took the easy way out, but that was always the case with Shane. He was he always took the easy way out. Yeah, because Shane was a meanie. Watch Better Call watching watch Better Call Saul and watch Breaking Bad are you saying I haven't? Are you assuming that I have not watched <laughs> Breaking Bad and Better Call Saul? What am I? Ten? <laughs> Dad. Have I seen any of the Star Wars live action shows? Yeah. <laughs> God, Dad, we're losing viewers. We need to make this more interesting. Yeah, we, we dropped down to six twenty two. Don't start slagging off Star Wars and Marvel. Yeah, guys, you have a war. Um, <laughs> hello, Simon. I'm back to the live. Tilly, what's your opinion on the last season of Stranger Things? Um, uh, like, both parts? I've mm -hmm. never seen both parts. Okay. Ooh, Mongolia. Well, my favourite seasons will always be one and two because there's, there's something I like about it, how it's being a... I like season one and two because, I don't know, there's just, I can't really describe it, there's just something about it which is like, I prefer it because it's like, it's not a huge mountain of problems and issues and I like it when they're all Plot. together. It was a little simpler to begin with, wasn't it? Yeah, no, I'm not saying that I can't understand it because I can, I get it, but the thing is... Someone here is saying I, season three is the best, but I would suggest season three is the weakest. Let me explain, let me explain. Well, come closer to the thing then, because people okay. aren't, can't hear you. You're just mumbling in the background. Okay, okay. So, season one and two are my favourite, because there's something about them, and I don't know how to describe it. Um, obviously, season four was really good. I really liked season four. It was very really enjoyable. It was very fun. Uh, I liked Fake No, that was cool. Um, but season one and two, I like it when the gang's all together, you know, all the boys, they're trying to set, and, the, and, the, and the L, and they're trying to say Will, you know, they're trying to get him out the upside down, they're trying to avoid the Demogorgon. I like the Demogorgon. Probably the Demogorgon's probably been my favourite monster. Um, I really like the Demogorgon. And then season two, I also really like, because it's also, like, season one. I don't know, there's just something about it, it's just, I like, I like it because it's like, um, I don't know how to say it. Uh, like, like, like less, like, like. It's hard for me to describe how much I love you. Thank you. Um, that, oh, there's mum. I don't know. I just kind of like season one and two more than season three and four because um, it's just... Um... Okay. <laughs> it's okay if you can't articulate your feelings. Honestly, okay. Let me just explain this. I um, feel like season one is my favourite because it was also fresh. Season two yeah. was great because season it sort of developed my, the I mythology. Love, I, love, I love Will's acting in And that. I like Bob in season two. I felt like season three, it just got a bit silly with like underground Russians That's and what shit I'm like that. About. I feel like it's a bit. But some great characters, uh, Alexi. Alexi, and there's some good, some great moments, some fab special effects. Yeah. I mean, you know, we're talking about all the seasons which we've enjoyed, but then you start talking about which ones you enjoy the most. It doesn't, it doesn't mean the ones that you didn't enjoy the most are bad or anything. Yeah, but. exactly. It's just I don't know why. It's just I preferred it because. It, it had a very comforting vibe. Because Tilly, can you shout out Annie Grace? No. Just shout it out to someone else. Go no. on. Oh, don't be mean. No. Don't be withholding. No. Just say Annie Grace. No. She won't do it. <laughs> She's not Annie Grace. No, she did it. She did it. She did it. You down for a live action like, Dengar? I hope that wasn't like a wordplay. I, I don't know. Maybe. Like Depends. <laughs> I, hope, I hope that wasn't something like a wordplay. It sounds something really, really Dengar. 
What? No, it was someone just wanted a shout out, I think, oh, darling. Okay. <coughs> I like the fact that Kate Bush, uh, a generation of children, were in, uh, introduced to one of the most extraordinary, inventive, imaginative, talented female singer songwriters of the 70s <coughs> and 80s, or to, oh, to, oh, I got it, I got to it. debut in the 70s and 80s. I've oh. been a Kate Bush fan since the beginning. Just gone to poor connection. Oh. The season. Are you going to start slagging off the fandoms? Yes. Yeah, sorry. So I'll go into trouble for that. Sorry. The season four Stranger Things fandom is fucked. Just because I said that there was some racism in the Star Wars fan community, well, I said I was a. Oh, well, I know there is. There is. So well done. You took a brave, a brave leap. But the Stranger Things fandom is. Um, <laughs> We've gone up to six. To <laughs> you know, Chrissy wake up isn't really the the peak of humour. It's not. It, it, mm, it's just. Yes, I have seen Better Call Thor. Better Call Thor? Can't just, wait for Eamon Holmes too. I hate how, um, because everyone's like, oh my god, Eddie, my baby, shut up! Oh my god, shut up! Oh my god, stop! You, you liked Eddie. No, but everyone's like, oh my god, Eddie, baby. <laughs> oh my god. And someone made a song about Eddie. Someone made a song. <laughs> Well, he was a very good character. I mean, that's. No, uh, you don't understand. He was the standout character of, of season four, wasn't he? <laughs> he reminded me of a. He reminded me of a young Robert Downey Jr. Oh, I love it. What's this? What's wrong with our interwebs? collect cards with Nick Frost. What are you fucking talking about? <laughs> Dad, we've gotten really mean. I know. Yeah, I, I find myself, I find myself becoming really quite so uh, becoming quite curmudgeonly during his <laughs> yeah, life I sometimes. I'm with you, and with you, not not against anybody, just like... I find myself becoming quite controversial. A lot of people are agreeing with you, though, dude. A lot of people are coming in here and just high-fiving you. Thank you. Metaphor me metaphorically. Metaphor Metaphor no, Tilly's right, and she should say it. How much sugar have you had today, Tilly? Um, actually none. Oh, you're very welcome for room on the broom. That's very nice of you to say so. <laughs> Does Tilly have a Snapchat? Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> um, 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 calm down. No, but I've got a shotgun. I'm sorry. No, I know you weren't. You're probably a lovely person. And a good... You probably... And you have a great voice, but it's just... It's not for me. And I'm a little bit... I'd like to work with Pedro Almodovar. What an incredible filmmaker he is. Hi, Bingy. Who's Bingy? <laughs> Hi, Bingy. Are you having a sub chat with someone called Bingy? <laughs> have I ever been to Wisconsin? I have not. Dad, we've got, we got to make it interesting. You should have played John Constantine, but are old now. Uh, uh, That's an interesting uh, comment. Everyone in the chat. Hey, Ukraine. Don't be a dick. Hey, Ukraine. Hey, Ukraine. I'd love to go to Korea. Yes, we, we, we're going to go back. Uh, I, I think when Mission, when uh, Dead Reckoning Part One comes out, we'll definitely head back to Seoul. Um. Thanks, Yasin. Very kind of you to say. Did I go to the black mailbox? Yes, I did. In with Nick. What did you think of the last series of Peaky Blinders? I didn't even see the first series of Peaky Blinders. I want to watch 
Peaky Blinders. Do you? Yeah. I think it's on Netflix. We could watch it. I haven't seen it, so we could watch it from the beginning. <coughs> um, come to the Dominican. Come in, Dominican Republic. Do you know about the bite of eighty-seven? Nope. K K K K K K K K K. Ah, oh, Tiamo, Tilly, and someone. I think he's like, I love you. It does. Are you working on anything with Edgar? I'm always working on something with Edgar. Are you a friend of Colin Farrell? No. That's because I haven't met him, I'm sure. I know he's very nice because he's a friend of Michael Smiley, who's a friend of mine, who you remember as Tires in Spaced, <coughs> if you've seen Spaced. And uh, Michael speaks very highly of uh, Colin Farrell, and Michael is an incredible, impeccable judge of character. Do I like Mexicans? All of the Mexicans I have ever met, I have loved. <laughs> And that is the truth. <laughs> That's my favourite question ever. Do, do you like Mexicans? <laughs> or did you mean Mexican food? Did you mean to say, do you like Mexican? Switzerland? <laughs> Hiking? <laughs> Some people say the weirdest things. Hello, Australia. <laughs> Are you friends with Michael Sheen? I would say probably yes, I am. Michael Sheen. Spaced is the... I'm not going to... Just started to repeat praise then that just feels desperate colin firth no i've never met colin i've heard he's very nice dad i think we should talk about some band names that we've had oh no we've got to do that as a special uh story i think like list the band names. we've got there's hundreds of them now <laughs> literally hundreds of them my best james bond actor so far i love timothy dalton uh how's the big guy doing who are you talking about? God? <laughs> it's, not, it's not real. <laughs> Dad, you can't start being controversial like that. <laughs> Hello from Brazil. If you get, can you say hi to my mum? I'm gonna get tattooed. So, just. Oh, look at your tiny hand. <laughs> oh, let's talk about men. Oh, we saw a film called Men. Not, not men. Uh, which is Alex Garland's new Fair movie. Uh. And uh, highly worth a watch with um, the brilliant uh, Jesse Buckley and Rory Kinnear. Superb. Very strange. B -b Batshit bananas ending, but in the best possible way. Tilly, what do you feel about... What, what are your thoughts on Alan Rickman? Why, why are you asking about Alan Rickman? The wonderful actor and a lovely man. Wait. I met him once and he was a delight. Guys, can I have some questions, please? But a strange question to ask. Is it, is it Alan Rickman's birthday or something? <coughs> Tilly would like a question. <coughs> yes, we have seen the black phone. Tilly, talk about the black phone. Oh, yeah. Um, I, I really like the... Okay, let me speak to the black phone. I mean, about the black phone. <coughs> okay, the black phone was a really, really, really good film. I really liked it, the acting was superb, everything was superb, and it was really clever, it was really well executed. We watched the trailer like uh, like at the start of the year, and we've been waiting for it for a while, and it did not disappoint, I have to say, it was amazing. It was really good, and it felt very much like a sort of, like a Stephen King, and then we found out later it was actually based on a short story written by Stephen King's son. Oh. <coughs> I got flyed. Hey, it's time to start my fast. Pieces, aren't we? Hold on, I'm getting questions. Tilly's favourite swear word, but in a Scottish accent. <laughs> I don't want to embarrass myself. <laughs> shite. I don't want to. But it'd be shite. No. Get to fuck. <laughs> I do like that. I do like that phrase. I say that to my friends. Tilly, tell us what embarrassing things. I'll oh, stop. Don't ask questions about me. Ask questions about. To her, but not about me. Yeah. Guys, feel free to ask me anything about the Walking Dead because I'm happy to answer. <laughs> okay. Have I seen any new anime? Um. I don't. I I don't really watch anime anymore. Tilly, I'm, what are you passionate about? I'm, I am reading Spy Family. Um, what am I? Apart from the. Uh... I'm passionate about like I'm passionate about. Um, Equality. Yeah, I'm very passionate about that. I, I actually, I looked over. I, 
I found a, an old story I wrote in like the prep school in like year five, and it's like, it's like the most feminist thing I've ever read in my life. <laughs> <laughs> Good girl. And I was like, wow. Good girl. Um, okay, I have another question. Tilly is wearing an M&M t-shirt and black uh, Does Tilly have a boyfriend? Joggers. No, Tilly does not. Tilly doesn't want one. Tilly doesn't want a boyfriend at the moment. Or a girlfriend. No, not yet. Opinions on Glenn in The Walking Dead. Oh, okay, let me speak about this one. I love Glenn, and I love Glenn with my whole heart. <laughs> my heart goes out to Glenn. I not only love Glenn, but I also I love Steven Yen. So, love. Tilly actually saw Minari and Nope before... We started because we started watching Walking Dead the weekend. We watched Nope, didn't we? Yeah. Oh, I love I love Minari. <laughs> anyway, I haven't seen the Fablemans trailer. <laughs> Does Tilly have a friend? She has a lot of friends. <laughs> Tilly, do you like wet leg? I do. I do. I do. I do. I do. Kisses from Rio. What style do I like in clothes? Should I get my favorite top? Actually, I don't have a favorite top. Um, I like. Lee from Hampton, don't be a dick. She hasn't got that far yet, and I'm glad she wasn't looking at the phone when you wrote that, so don't. I like, um... Christ. I like, uh... Indie. Uh, wait, what did he say? There was a big spoiler. Oh, okay. That just popped up. I can't... I can't look at that. Guys, please don't put any spoilers of The Walking Dead in the chat, because you're going to ruin it for me! Someone either... Don't be a dick! Someone either did it in, you know, without realising, or just... Oh, okay. Oh, it is. He, he says, Lee apologises. He didn't realise. Oh, okay, Lee, oh, fair enough. Thank let's you. Let's just... Let's just not have... No, I don't... I didn't know. He didn't know. It's fine. Uh, let's just not have any Walking Dead spoilers at all from any season, just in case. My favourite Eminem song? Um, probably My Mum. If you haven't watched The Sopranos by now, then you deserve to have it spoiled by She-Loke. She-Loke, She-Hulk. Um, yeah, wait, my favourite Eminem song is my mum. Your mum? No, my mum. It's called your mum. No, it's called my mum. It's, no, it's called your mum. Shut up. It's not called my mum. No, I'm not talking about wet leg. <laughs> oh, right. I'm talking about Eminem. Oh, right. <laughs> I'm not talking about wet... It's not like I, I, I... <laughs> You're talking about Eminem. It is hot in here, isn't it? I'm sweating. Yeah. I haven't watched She Hulk yet. It's really fun. It's very silly, and uh, Benny's in it. Benny Wong's in it. As uh, as Wong. Tilly hasn't seen She Hulk. Right. Tilly, what name? Ten songs you're listening to right now. Let's get through. Let's them. pull them up, then, shall we? <laughs> Let's listen. To Dad, you on the phone. All right, just because I'm losing my eyesight. Oh, sorry, I'm just on Eddie's song right now. No, 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 sorry, that was a joke. Um, probably my mum. Um, List the artist as well. Okay. Here's ten songs. That Tilly likes. That Tilly likes. Um, Go. Okay. My mum by Eminem. Bullshit. Uh, the Daily Mail by Radiohead. Um, um, probably Play Plastic Trees by Radiohead. Slip Away by Perfume Genius. Um... Uh, Where Is My Mind by Pixies. Uh, uh, Monkey's Gone to Heaven, Pixies. Wave of Mutilation, Pixies. A lot of Pixies. Um, <laughs> Debaser, Pixies. Here Comes Your Man, Pixies. Um, Prop Sparks, Coldplay. Um, uh, Put Me in a Movie, Lana Del Rey. Uh, no Surprises, Radiohead. Um, and, and Creep. Okay, that's it. That was. Uh, and also, spitting off the edge of the world by the yeah, yeah, yeah. And spitting off the edge of the world by the yeah, yeah, yeah's there. I hope I pass the uh, the the music taste check. Oh my god, you got a great music taste. <clears throat> Can Toby Richard Jonathan Walton get a shout out? There he is. <laughs> it's midnight in Japan, so I'm going to sleep now. Good night. No, no. Well, are you not going to stay up? Good night, Japan. It is red, Sunday. I mean, they got red, they got work in the morning. Red, red, um, You're going to get banned, Q V I S A, whatever the name is, if you say things like that, bud. Any bands? Like blocked. She's thirteen. Okay. How do you decide what's appropriate for Tilly to watch? Uh, Tilly decides. <laughs> she's grown. She's grown up around 
films and filmmaking and she's been in a lot of film sets so she knows the artificiality of filmmaking so uh, she was introduced to sort of horror and gore a little earlier than even I was I think because she understood the process enough for it to not be a, a big deal uh, but we still you know are careful about what she watches she's 13 I, yeah, so I do love the kill. Sober next month. Oh, congratulations for being 10 years sober. That's brilliant news. Well done. Oh, thank you for saying cool. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. Tell you, what's your top three scary movies? Like, like, in the actual horror genre. Yeah. Okay. Um, Train to Busan. Train to Busan, number one. Um, hold on, let me just look at my fancy little... Poster here. Okay. Um, I like. Um, I like. Um, and I like. I like Shutter Island. Shutter Island. And I like. Um, I like. Um, Hereditary. And Hereditary. That's. I'd say Shutter Highland was Shutter Highland was m- was more of a psychological thriller. Yeah. Than a horror. Um, but like I, that's they're not my favourites. I have a lot of favourites. It's difficult. I think it's one of those things. But I just couldn't whereby you uh, you know when you're asked to, to say your favourite of something it just feels like something that that's something that seven year old people ask each other because okay. as you get as you get into you know older you realise that the idea of favourites is probably slightly inaccurate when it comes to your tastes and preferences there are things you like and things you love and things but it's not like you have number one of everything like colours Tilly reminds me of my niece well I wish I knew your niece but sadly I don't Tilly what is your first tattoo going to be um I don't know I love dad I really like I really like um I've taken a liking to butterflies recently they're really pretty no no, grandma loves butterflies so I might get a butterfly grandma's got uh, a thing about butterflies Thank you from Japan. Who are you? Uh, la, 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 la. Yes, I would recommend Bristol University. I went there myself and I did all right. The office, UK or US? Was Shaun of the Dead inspired by Brain okay. Dead? No. My favorite office. It was inspired is by Dawn of the Dead. UK. The, UK the clues office. in the title. My claim to flame is that I got my tap from the same person as Simon. <laughs> Simon in a Tarantino movie. Well, I was in uh, Inglorious Bastards, but then I had to pull out because I had to do Tintin instead. I love that movie. Which is a, uh, you know, I look back on with bitter sweetness. Are those Dyson fans? How do you know we're using a Dyson Oh, this is a Dyson fan here, right? <laughs> Is that a Dyson fan? Yeah. Oh no, this is an air purifier. This isn't a, not a fan. It's both. It's both. It's both. Dyson fans, I can confirm, are good. They're great, and it's really keeping me cool. I have it on every night. I've never seen a movie with Natalie Portman. Oh, I mean, with her in. Oh, sorry, I thought you meant actually going to the movies with Natalie Portman. Somebody said football. Opinions on the Evil Dead. I love the Evil Dead. Favourite Bowie album? Probably Hunky Dory. What are Nick Frost pies like? Tasty. Tilly, did you know it's Nam it's Nam June's birthday today? Is it? Yeah. Oh it is, oh of course. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, RM. Tilly, do you like the thing? Um, I do love the is Henry going to be resurrected in any future? Well, unless they can sew someone's head back on, no. What's my favourite book? The one that's propping up this phone. <laughs> Opinions on Cargo, the Martin Freeman movie. I think it was quite good, I seem to remember. It's a zombie film, right? Will the Yankees win? I have no idea who the Yankees are or what they're playing. You'd have to help me out there. Jurassic Park, any thoughts? Jurassic Park 
is a brilliant movie. Do we like Gong Yu? <laughs> Do we ever? Do we ever? We love Gong Yu. Obviously, I love Gong Yu. Bub, 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 bub. I haven't worked with Sam Raimi, no. I believe baseball. Oh, the New York Yankees, I guess you mean. I have no idea. I have no interest in sport other than snowboarding. <laughs> Even sport from my own country, let alone other countries. No, I haven't seen Jurassic World Dominion. I haven't seen it either. I can't be asked. <laughs> How did you both enjoy the Stranger Things experience? Oh, it was fun. <laughs> yeah, it was fun. It was kind of, uh, it, was, it was a hoot. Yeah, impressive. Thoughts on the Queen's deaths? Has she died again? <laughs> As I said, it's thoughts on the Queen's deaths. How many did she have? Love from Iran. Um, yeah. Anyway. Any road up? How do you reckon we'll get on at the World Cup? I don't give a fuck. Well, I wonder how controversial we've been on this one live. I don't know if we've been as controversial as we were on the time that, that we we had a, went into a giant tirade against gender reveals. <laughs> oh, that person got in contact with me, by the way, and they'd had, I think it was a boy. Oh, well, I'm very happy for you. Yeah. Oh, God, I feel so bad. Anyway, Am I looking I'm forward to Andor? Not really. It's going to be a beautiful baby girl. <laughs> that was fun. I don't look forward to anything these days what? apart from Christmas to holidays and Halloween I've got a good Halloween costume I've had you know it's not special anymore nothing's that nothing special anymore what about my birthday there's too much of it there's too much of everything I look forward to your birthday I don't mean like I mean stuff like I don't know I mean what do you what do you look forward to I think I look forward to like I look forward to the, the do not drop do not drop I look forward to the next thing Daniels do or I look forward to the new you know the next Alex Garland film or, but I don't look forward to fucking ow <laughs> what's my Halloween costume this year well I'm glad no you I are. don't give a fuck about new Marvel movies I mean there's just so many of them okay. stop being so negative well it's just like oh god it's that's what I thought. Um, what's my, I'm so happy you asked. My Halloween costume is I'm going as Tracy Mills from Seven. Tilly's going as Tracy Mills from Seven. Who, and I'm sorry if I've spoiled this for you, but, you know. Tilly, do you have a pet? Seven was made in 19 something, so you should have watched it by now. When she gets a head, Carl. So, um, that's what I'm going as. Uh, do you have any pets? None. No, I've none. No, I've got, got three dogs. Hocus Pocus 2. Are you looking forward to Hocus Pocus 2? I'm not even looking forward to Hocus Pocus 1. <laughs> I haven't even seen Hocus Pocus 1. What is Hocus Pocus? I think it's a film about witches. Oh, right. Okay. I've never seen it. Seven, as in seven from the boys. <laughs> I don't drink. I haven't drunk for 12 years. So I don't have a favourite beer. <laughs> it's Wait, getting, it's getting, these things, they just get progressively more and more like grumpy on these things. I know. It's because it's we're getting tired. No, I'm kidding. We're, not, we're never tired, ever, of you. Hello. Tilly, what's your favourite manga? Um, probably Spy Family right now. It's really fun. Spy Family. Uh, I mean, my favourite of all time has probably been Assassination Party. Assassination classroom. So Thank you, Patricia. Uh, Favorite Beatles song. I've already said that. It's uh, Tomorrow Never Knows. Dad, not there. Did I see Gorillas at All Points East? Yes, yeah, I did. Yeah, did. That was great. It was brilliant. 
And then Tilly had a, a little uh, chat with Damon Albarn afterwards, didn't you? Yeah, that was amazing. Okay, for the last minutes. Oh, don't say. Oh, uh, here's my tip for oh, sobriety: so don't say you're having your last drink tonight. Just say, just say you're not. You're having your last drink today. And then tomorrow, say the same thing. At the end of the day, say thanks when you get to the day and you haven't had your last drink. Don't set yourself unrealistic goals. Don't say, I'm not going to drink till this January. I'm not going to drink till for two weeks. If you want to stop drinking, stop and then take it every day at a time. And every time you reach the end of a day and you haven't had a drink, say thank fuck for that. And then wake up the next day and do it again. And every single night when you go to bed and you've got through the day and you haven't had a drink, say thank you. That's my tip for sobriety. Hey, you rock, my man. It's election day in Sweden. How are you with uh, politics? I'm not sure about Swedish politics, but I hope the better person wins. I hope the person who believes in looking after the people and not looking after the few. I've got I hope tomorrow. the person who believes in equality and, uh, you know, fairness. Not someone on the right wing, basically. You know, one week was enough. Should I tell people about my sanctions? No, you don't need to tell them about your criminality. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm going to. Okay, let me explain. Let me explain something. So basically, I've got two sanctions. It's already been one week. First, the, one time, I was one minute late to a lesson. But it wasn't even... It wasn't even... You weren't late, though. Right? You said you thought... She thought... Yeah, I think she thought that the lesson started at a different time. So in fact, I was like three minutes early. But you didn't contest that. <coughs> no, because I was too tired. And also, when I got another sanction, because my socks went... A different colour. I, I was late for my lesson. I needed to go to my locker, which was six million miles away. I needed to that, run back I, down. I think that one is fair. I don't think you deserved a sanction, but your 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 socks were non-regulation. You did. I didn't. About the blue socks. Yes. Well, we should have known, really. We should have been yeah. sanctioned because we should have put them on you in the morning. Look, but if, if you're going to give me a sanction for white socks, then you need to give everybody else in the world a sanction. I mean, in my school. Yeah. A sanction for white socks. Because actually... <laughs> Everyone I walk past, everyone, stop, can you actually be... Yeah! <laughs> Please, like, be you on my side. Fan of me. I'm on your side, I'm also on um, your side. Um, uh, I forgot what I'm going to say now. Hey, don't cry, baby doll. <laughs> Never, ever call me that ever again. Sorry. Yeah. Um, no, because it's not funny, and it was really stressful. And then I had, like, an anxiety attack at the end of the day. She did have a bit of an anxiety attack. She's never had a sanction... Or an order mark in her entire school career. Yeah, justice for my socks, that's right. Justice for Tilly's socks, we say. My eight hour window for fasting starts at 5.30, but we're going over to, to our neighbours for pizza tonight, so I'll extend it in, until later and I'll, I'll eat later tomorrow, which is a bummer because I'm shooting tomorrow, so I'll be grumpy on set in the morning. Jaffa cake or biscuits? I'm pregnant oh. again. Well done, Keris. Oh, cool. Um, hold on, I was... Oh, wait. Oh, Jaffa cake or biscuit? Well, a Jaffa cake... This isn't my room, Raz, Raz Extra. This is my daughter's room. Fact... This isn't my manga. I don't read manga. I don't read any comics. Oh, stop. I'm 52. Oh, stop, stop, stop. <laughs> um, I forgot what I was going to say... so stressful right now. I had to do so much homework today. I had to do seven pieces. I had to write two paragraphs, two big P-A-E-A-E-A paragraphs. English. It was literally the worst thing I've ever done in my entire life. I had to do so many questions for maths. I had to do five seven-part questions for maths. So... And I had to do um, a lot of RS. I had to do a lot of German grammar, which is the worst thing you ever do in your entire life. I had to, do, I had to write a 30-word paragraph in, in French. And just add more. It's, guys, don't go to school. Uh, I'm not fasting as such. I'm intermittent fasting, which, which means I just don't eat for 16 hours. And I do eat for eight hours. And I find that uh, really helps my system equilibrize. Um, Tilly's, Tilly seems to be crazier than you, says someone. I haven't watched Sandman. <laughs> Some, you know what, Curtis, we don't look the same. You probably look like a picture of me that someone saw somewhere. The amount of people that say, oh, I look just like you, and I see a picture of a person who just got glasses on and a beard, and they don't look anything like me. So you know what, Dad. Curtis, you don't Dad. look like me. 
Stop being so negative. Stop. <laughs> French and German, nice. I haven't watched Ghosts. You know what? I don't want to be trilingual. So I don't understand why I have to take so many languages. Thanks, Brandon. Pineapple on pizza is not for me, but there's nothing wrong with it if it makes somebody happy. Tilly, keep up the hard work. Thank you, I needed that. It's good, isn't it? I find, you know, because by the time I wake up, my my body's done all that it needs to do. It's not it doesn't spend all its time digesting. It can actually get on with some other processes that would ordinarily kick in if I was still a hunter-gatherer on the plains. And let's face it, we are the same animals we were 90,000 years ago, really. Evolutionarily speaking, we haven't changed that much, maybe in the frontal lobes of our brain, but everything else is pretty much the same. So um, a lot of the modern problems in mental and physical health are to do with the disconnect between contemporary living and our uh, existing evolutionary bodies. You get you in here? Yeah. Okay, I don't want to be... I want to be bilingual though. My necklace is a little, it's from Anson's, which is a clothing company which I really like. It's like a little dime, I think. My eyes hurt. What's your favourite quote you've ever said? <coughs> I have no idea. <laughs> I've lost 50 pounds doing intermittent fasting. That's very, very good. Well done. I'm sure you feel a lot healthier and, and, and you know, um, more confident maybe. Dad, do a backflip. I can't do a backflip. Try. Have I seen Predator? Of course I've seen Predator. Backflip. Flip. Flip. <laughs> <laughs> Back flip. <laughs> Why? 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 I literally, I'm literally just trying to get by and I, I, I just, I'm, I literally just, I'm trying to exist in this world and it, everything's so difficult. I don't want to be part of your nine anymore. I don't want to have to carry around a gazillion, a trillion folders with me. It's so petty. And it's really, it's really annoying, and I'm really sad, and I'm literally dying every single night when I get home from school because I just want to, like, not even go to ever, ever. Thank you, Tilly. Uh, 13 years old. Up top. No. No. No, not up top. No. no. Don't leave me hanging. Okay, fine. <laughs> what do you mean? It's not because I'm 13. No, I'm just saying, these are the problems that a 13-year-old has. That's what I'm saying. You're going through that moment. Do you know what I mean? What moment? The, the year nine. You no. Know, you're not a little kid anymore. <laughs> you're, you're, you're becoming an adult, and it's a, it's a stressful environment because suddenly part of you wants to and part of you doesn't, and it's, 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 uh, it's a stressful time. I get it. Listen, someone says school is hard, but it's not forever. You can do it. I speak four languages. That's a really good advice. Thank you, whoever said that. Yeah, thank you. That's why I say it. I mean, you look back on the, 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 the brief time it is in your life and the, the importance of it. It is, a, it is a supreme irony. Thanks, my bird. That we are entrusted with something as precious as the future when all we can see is the moment. And that is one of the, the key sort of... Um, conundrums of, of being a human being is that we're supposed to set the scene for our future when we don't give a fuck because we're kids hello the Philippines oh my god yes come and give me all your GCSE notes thank you I love you are we going to the Queen's funeral no uh, I'm, I'm not planning to go to the Queen's because funeral no. hopefully I get a day off school so that was a really bad thing to say um, well it is going to be a bank holiday thanks Liz I would listen to Harry Styles, but I'm not really a fan of his music. Harry Mellon. <laughs> Tilly and I were talking about something to do with Harry Styles, and I can remember his name. No, no, no it was. Uh, we were in Jinju. We were in, and we were in a Korean restaurant. Sugar thing was playing, and you said, "Oh, look, it's Harry Mellon." And I thought his name was Harry Mellon. <laughs> he's not really in my sphere of, you know. But I'm sure he's a lovely person. I'm sure he's I, a I, lovely I, guy. I, I've, I've met him, and he's very nice. He's a very he's nice a man. Person. Very sweet guy. You. I know. Oh, yeah, I do use Quizlet. Also, I know it's like, you know, this. These are the these are the golden years of your life. They don't feel like the golden years. Someone's <laughs> like, really ranting today. <laughs> like, I'm sorry. 
<laughs> feel like the golden years. Like, enjoy, enjoy it. No, I can't. What? How? 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 How do I enjoy it? Like, well, look, you don't know. T- don't tell me to enjoy it and then not give me a, a tip. Ha- Harry Mellon's probably enjoy didn't, enjoy, <laughs> didn't enjoy school. And now look at him. He's wearing a feather boa. He's perfectly happy. <laughs> I don't know. That's not going to be me. Because how? I can't. It's like, okay, these are the golden years. And, you know, when you get a job, you're going to be all boring and shit. But, but, but I, I, what? I can't. I can't. I just. Why? All right, I'm gonna go now because I'm getting questions like, "Do you like this or that?" And you're gonna make another poll, and it's just starting to. Okay. One to tear the soul out of my mouth. This one was a really. Do a poo on it. One. I did yeah. enjoy school. Yeah, I did enjoy school to 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 a, to a fairly great extent. Yeah, absolutely. Um. You know, I, 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 there were moments when I didn't. I got bullied a little bit, and that wasn't very nice. But generally, I, uh, I did enjoy school. I enjoyed college more, much more, and university more as well. No, Henry's dead. Henry's character died. Why would he come back in MI? Just because he's good looking doesn't mean he's going to come back. so negative today yeah sorry it's really low energy thanks for listening everybody we've been grumpy one and grumpy two (laughs) Uh, enjoy yourselves keep a light on shine bright keep your feet on the ground keep reaching (laughs) for the stars you can do anything love each other vote labour don't be a dick don't be a dick Don't be a dick. <laughs>